Welcome to the video pip tutorial video. Video pip is an application that shows online video in a uh, small floating window. So uh, this window stays on top of other applications so you can view uh, YouTube videos for instance at the same time as you're working on a document or uh, playing a video game. It works with most video games I've tried but uh, not all so you have to test it out to see if it works for you. Uh, now I would consider this a pre-release of the ver of the application. It's not quite uh, how I want it to be yet, but it works good enough, I think. So I decided to release it anyway. Uh, I'm waiting for Microsoft to update some of the uh, web components, and once they do that, I hope I can uh, make it work just as I want. Uh, and the application works uh, like this: uh, you copy a uh, URL from a video into your clipboard and when, then you start the application and it looks at the clipboard and if it finds a valid video URL there it plays it in a floating window. So uh, let me show you. Uh, here we have YouTube. So uh, the way I use it is that I, uh, I browse YouTube like this and if I see something I want to watch I right click that video I choose copy link and then I start video pip. So I have it on my uh, taskbar here and it's a good idea to have it uh, shortcut here. I tend to open it a lot. So now it looks at that clipboard and it plays the video that uh, we just clicked here. Uh, and this stays on top of uh, whatever else you're doing. So if, you're, uh, if I select the web browser we can still see the video should I start a Word document? We still see the video on top. So we can have both active at the same time. You can resize this if you want. You can also go full screen should you so desire. Uh, or go back. So that's the basic functionality of the app. So it works for YouTube, it works for Vimeo, and it works for Dailymotion. There's a few other ways you can start playing videos. If we select something else here, this one, we can right click here and do copy video URL. And then go to the video and select the play from clipboard button to start playing the video. We could also copy the uh, URL straight from the taskbar here if we from the address bar if we like. So those uh, are the ways to play video. It also works with playlists. So if we have a from the NASA channel here for instance we do a playlist of the Mars rover. Right click, copy link and play from clipboard and it starts playing. And we can browse the playlist from here. Now, uh, be careful when you close the playlist. There's the X button here that sort of collides with the uh, close the app button, so you have to be a bit careful there. And now, this application shows the video. Uh, it uses the embedded player to show the video, and this works for most videos, but not all. So, if we play a video with copyrighted music, for instance, they don't show those, so if we try to play this one, it won't allow us to do that. We'll see this error message. I made a little workaround for this. It's not very good, but uh, I have the play from uh, show the web version of the video button here. So if we press that, it takes us to the web page of the video, and uh, we can watch it that way. So that's something I want to improve in the future as well. So let's just wait for the video or the commercial to stop playing. And so there we have the video. And we could also go full screen at this point. Uh, and that fills the uh, picture frame with the video. So we're, uh, we can do that. And uh, just to show you the, uh, that it works on Vimeo as well, we right click a video, copy link, play from clipboard there we go and daily motion as well uh, right click a video copy link 
play from clipboard. Okay. Now the reason I consider this to be a preview version of the application is uh, there are a few issues that I'm not quite uh, satisfied with. Uh, so if we take a look at a YouTube video again, right click, copy link, play from clipboard. Uh, we can see if we look at the UI, we have these conflicting UIs. We have the blue buttons that I made and we have the default player UI right here. So I don't think that's really ideal to have two uh, UIs on top of each other like this. So uh, that's one thing I want to fix. Another thing uh, is if we go to the web version of the uh, page, this is very slow. So uh, ideally I would like to be able to browse for new videos in this mode, especially if we go to full screen. But it's not possible at the moment because it's uh, painfully slow. So uh, that's another thing. Trying to display the UI when you're in the web version is uh, also a bit of a hassle. You sort of have to sneak it up on the edge like this. Uh, so that's another problem. And uh, one last thing that I think is uh, at the end of a video, you have the, uh, the recommended stuff. They recommend other videos for you to watch. And if you click these right now, it opens up in the web browser. So uh, that's a small thing I'd like to fix as well. Uh, but regardless of that, I still uh, find it very useful, this application myself. I use it uh, a lot every day. So uh, I hope other people find it useful too. And uh, uh, feel free to check out my other applications uh, down in the description, uh, such as this nifty webcam app that I made. It's pretty much the same as video pip, but it shows your webcam instead. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, bye.